Welcome back to my Crash Bandicoot 1 series. In part 5, there was a few levels that caused quite a bit of trouble. You have Cortex Power, which is split at multiple sections into different rows, and I missed a box a few times and had to restart. The High Road, of course, I'm going to lose a few lives on that. And then Slippery Climb, which is the Red Gem level. I didn't complete this one. I got close to completing it, but I died at the v pretty much at the very end, so I have to do this one again. If I take my time and calculate my jumps... Simple. Right, I'm in here. I have to get in there now. This can be a bit tricky because. Ooh, yeah, that was that was a close call. Now let's get crashed to the very edge of this, ready to jump back out. Whoa, that was. Ooh, I thought I was. I thought I was way too early there. When's the perfect time to go here now? More stairs, isn't it? Oh, oh fuck. Oh no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Back at the stairs. They give you a decent amount of time to get up them, I guess. Yeah, that's plenty of time. This is where I failed. Just jumping onto this platform. <laughs> Sorry if there's no commentary. I'm just... I really want to get this one out of the way. Gotta focus, you know. Can't always give commentary. I'm not good at doing that while playing. Save, saved it. Right then, this stair section can be a bit tricky. Hands are sweating like crap right now. Okay, we made it to the embryo section. This is where I died then last time. It was after I did the embryo bonus stage and then I tried to jump on that platform. So simple, like out of everywhere I could have died on this, it was there. I just love the bonus stages because it gives you an opportunity to gain a few lives back and it's just refreshing to, to be able to die, to be able to just chill out for a minute. Did it. Six lives. Back up to 72. Nice. I need to get this right this time, so... It really wasn't that tough, was it? Another one here. Oopsie daisy. Nearly missed the uh, boxes there. That would have been... I haven't missed any, have I? You s- what the fuck was- I landed on that. Oh, I've got to do all of it again. Oof, I was waiting for it to come back so I could jump on it, but... Back here again. Oh, invincibility. Shame it's pretty much useless up here. So, even though this is just simple jumping and more of what I've already done in the level, it seems to be the trickiest part. Focus time. I hate this level. This is the one. This is the one. Law of Attraction, baby. This is the one. This is it.
really slipped off the edge there. Just by walking, imagine that. Sweating so bad. What? Oh, I didn't see that. Well, I mean, I was focusing on these guys here. I mean, it's alright. You don't really need Aku Aku anyway. Chance off, you're gonna fall off and hit one of those spikes then you're gonna die anyway. Well, I would have died if I didn't have Aku Aku there, but I'll make sure not to do that again. Back to this bonus stage again that always takes 20 million attempts. I'm so looking forward to seeing what Crash 4 offers in terms of frustrating levels like these, because there's gonna be a few. You just know there's gonna be a few. Right, six more lives. Up to 82 now. At least that ain't going down with these failed attempts. Right. Yes! 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 Be careful. Okay, why do they have to do this? Why do they have to put a little extra jump at the very end? I know it's only a simple jump, but a simple jump like this is not the same after going through all of that without dying. Yes, I've done it! I feel good now. So the next level is Lights Out, which is another gem level. But I'm not going to do this yet. Uh, because I got the red gem, I'm going to return to a few previous levels. After this, I'll be doing the Road to Nowhere, which... After doing the High Road and doing some of these gem levels... I don't even care about that anymore. It's really not that bad, is it? Also, I learned a trick for this level. <laughs> at the triple fire part at the end of this level, these things... You don't have to time it or anything. You can just jump on the background. Like, there's a little thing you can jump on. Oh well, just not having to reset the whole level is a blessing. There's an Akuraku mask to the left there, I'm gonna... Yes. That's why I needed it. Ah. Damn it. There's the red gem path. Let's get these extra crates. Hold up, how's he standing on clouds? You can't do that. Now let's finish off the level. See, look, you can go here. I, d I didn't know you could do that. Wow. There it is. Now we'll get the clear gem on Road to Nowhere. Compared to the high road, this is nothing. So let's just speed through this. I wonder how many lives I'll lose. Probably not that many. I'll lose a few for sure, but not nowhere near as many as the high road. Thanks for stopping there, buddy. Ooh. Uh. Checkpoint. Here's the red gem path. Look at that. Are you fucking kidding me?
Oh, do you see that? Come on. <laughs> There's a little red thing here that will take us. Okay, we got the gem though on Road to Nowhere. Nearly at 75% completion. So now we can go back to where we're actually at, Lights Out. Now again, this is a purple gem level, but we're going to have to return to it because we can't get the purple gem until we have the yellow gem, which is a future level. So the main goal is to go through it without losing too many lives. And that Akaraku, of course. I won't show too much of it. Um, I do show some full gameplay. Um, it just depends on what I'm doing. If it's just a, like a normal, basic, easy level, then I'm not going to show the whole gameplay because I want to keep it nice and sweet. But if it's like a really tough gem level, then I want to kind of show the whole thing. I'll probably do that with Slippery Climb. Since we're going to be returning to this, then... Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's put in a fucking level where you can't see anything. Oh, quick. Need to keep the flame. Flame. Flashlight. There we go. The last one I'm going to do in this video is Jaws of Darkness, the second key level. I'll be happy with getting this done. Look at this pace. This is just immaculate. Huh. Immaculate, huh? Hate these bits. These, these are so hard to land on. I've got to go over here. Oh, going over to the left, or like going any direction but forward on these platforms is so awkward. Right, we'll land there, there, and there. Here's the blue gem platform. Oh! oh, I feel like I've missed some hidden boxes somewhere. Whoa. Checkpoint. Okay, I don't care anymore. Good job I hit that checkpoint. Tried to go a bit too fast there. Cortex bonus stage. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't think that's how you do it. Yeah, that's kind of... I guess you can do that. Ooh! There we go. Ha! Give me the key. So many boxes on this level. Get me home. Well, this was very good. We made a lot of progress in this one. 82% completion now. Did Slippery Climb, got the red gem, went back to Road to Nowhere, Native Fortress, did Lights Out, um, even though I have to return to that, and then did Jaws of Darkness. So in the next video, we'll be starting off with Fumbling in the Dark and go from there pretty much. So thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I will see you all in part seven.